Koch Shemi. Koch Shemi. Koch Kemi. Koch Kemi. Ugh. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm doing a brand review of Koch Shemi products. So let's get it right out of the way. Uh, the people from the brand itself, uh, according to sources, I watched a video online from my friends over at the rag company. They had one of the representatives over and uh, he said that in Germany, because these are made in Germany, uh, they pronounce it Koch Shemi. Majority of them say, say it quicker, something like Koshemi. So a lot of people say Koch Kemi, Koch Shemi. Listen, uh, unless we're German, which I'm not, um, well, please excuse me if I don't pronounce it properly. Koshemi, as the Germans would pronounce it. Hopefully, let me know, by the way, in the comment section under the video, uh, how the heck do we, are we really supposed to pronounce it? So what we're doing today is I'm going to be presenting a lot of the products that I use from the Koch Chemie brand. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. The uh, company did not send me these products. I ordered these uh, by, my own, by myself. And by the way, I'll leave links to all of these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, so my brand reviews are quite popular on my channel because I go over the products in a specific detailing line and I give you tips and tricks on how to use them. And more specifically, I explain what each product does because sometimes the names can be confusing. And before you guys do a deep dive into a brand and start buying a bunch of products, you want to know, first of all, are they good? Uh, what they are, what they do, and any tips or tricks on how to better improve your user performance or experience with them, right? Uh, and this is one of the brands, by the way, that you guys requested the most that I review. So uh, today we're doing that. Let's dig right into it. I have a very colorful lineup behind me, if you can tell. Uh, I think visually, this is probably top tier along with uh, CarPro and Gion as far as marketing their products go. Uh, because, I mean, just look at the bottles. First of all, they're all color coded on their website. If you go check it out, uh, they have this kind of table of elements, right? The chemistry elements that are made for their products, uh, each with their color codes. They kind of give the pH levels of a few of them. And uh, basically each one has a name as if they were an element in the table of elements. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, but the quality of these products is second to none. So they're right up there. Uh, with brands like Sonax, uh, CarPro, Gion, G-Technic. So the first one here, GSF, what is this exactly? They call this Gentle Snow Foam. Once again, uh, this is a pH 7.5, so close to pH neutral. It's basically a snow foam for the pre-wash with your foam cannon. And you can also use this, use this in your bucket for the hand wash. So uh, basically one soap that does both. It has an amazing cherry scent. And uh, that is one thing that you'll immediately notice. Like this smells absolutely incredible. Uh, and yeah, the performance out of this great foam, a little goes a long way, by the way. Uh, they give you the instructions in the back. So 20 mils of uh, snow foam into one liter foam cannon. So basically 20 mils in your foam cannon container, top it off to a liter and you're good to go. Uh, I made conversions for you guys who work in ounces. That's uh, 0.7 ounces into one liter container, into your foam cannon container. Uh, so that's for use as a pre-wash or snow foam. If you're using it in the uh, two bucket wash method or in your wash bucket, uh, if you're using a traditional five gallon water bucket, you're adding just over three ounces of this shampoo. So 3.2 ounces because for the hand wash, you're using 50 mils for every liter of water. So again, that's 3.2 ounces for your five gallons of water in your wash bucket. And uh, yeah, so a little goes a long way. Lubrication is absolutely amazing with this. Your mitt is going to glide effortlessly, effortlessly on the, uh, the surface. And uh, in the uh, foam cannon itself, very nice nice uh, thick foam, not as thick as some others that I've used. Uh, mostly in North America, we really, re really, really like um, shaving thick like uh, textures. Uh, and in Europe, they like uh, runnier textures uh, more from what I understand. But anyhow, it's like a good in between. Uh, de de def definitely uh, enough of that uh, foam on your surface. And uh, yeah, close to pH neutral. This is very good for your maintenance washes. Uh, regardless, by the way, if you have a wax, a paint sealant, a ceramic coating, or a graphene coating on your vehicle, you can use that uh, no problem on any kind of protection. Or of course, if your vehicle is unprotected, you can still use this to wash. So lubrication, which is the most important criteria for me, as far as a shampoo is concerned, is A1. The smell is fantastic. Just 
just a wonderful experience. Uh, and it rinses off very cleanly and easily. So when you're pressure washing your vehicle or even with your garden hose, you're not gonna leave any soapy residue behind. Uh, ideally, of course, like anything, try to not work in sunlight. Uh, this is, goes for any type of detailing product for best experience. Work on a cool surface in the shade if you're working outside or ideally in a garage if you can. Uh, by the way, if you wanna bump up the performance of the snow foam, they do have the active foam in their lineup, which I think is pH eight or more on the alkaline side for more cleaning power. Well, what you can do is add Green Star. So Green Star is the next product that we're gonna talk about. Basically, you can add 10 to 30 mils of this or 0.3 ounces to about an ounce, depending on the level of strength you want in your foam cannon. That's gonna increase the pH level. So make it a more alkaline cleaner and it's gonna to help to degrease or remove a bit of that traffic film uh, if you have insects and that kind of stuff and you want a bit more cleaning power. So you add one ounce of this in your liter foam cannon and then one ounce of this in your foam cannon as well, and boom, you got an augmented performance. So now let's dig into Green Star. Let me give you a close up of this. So if you look at here on the label, this is a pH 12 and a half. So this is on the alkaline, alkaline side. So a more basic cleaner as far as pH is concerned because this is an all purpose cleaner. It's phosphate and solvent free. Uh, again, pH 12 and a half. It's a good dirt and oil carrying capacity and it's perfect for uses both outside and on inside depending on the dilution. So if we look here in the back, they always give you some uh, dilutions. Hopefully you can see that label correctly. You can pause on screen if you want. For heavy duty interior greasing, uh, degreasing, we're talking a one to five dilution. Uh, for medium duty, one in 10 dilution. And for uh, light duty, you're looking at a one in 30. So of course, 30 parts of water for one part of product, right? The number one is always the product itself and the higher number is always the parts of water. So equal parts of water. Uh, if you're looking at uh, medium duty interior uh, cleaning jobs or degreasing, you're looking at a one to 10 dilution. And if we're talking light duty interior cleaning, you're one to 20 dilution rating. You can also use this as an engine bay uh, cleaner as well. So you can put this in a spray bottle, dilute it to the appropriate levels. And uh, once again, one to five or one to 10 for uh, engine bays should be good enough. You can use this to uh, degrease tires. It's very important before you apply a tire dressing to properly prep the tires if you watch my video. Videos. Uh, so you can use an all-purpose cleaner to do that if you don't have a wheel cleaner or dedicated tire cleaner, tire and rubber cleaner. So this one here does a very good job at that. And uh, once again, yeah, just a, a great all-purpose cleaner and that serves both for interior and exterior uses. Engine bay tires, again, you name it, this does it. We move on to the Magic Wheel Cleaner. Although it says, if you look on the label here, pH five and a half, this is still, yes, it is on the acidic side a bit, but it doesn't contain any acids per se. So it's considered a non-acid wheel cleaner. It dissolves iron particles as well. So it has that red color changing technology. And um, so yeah, for the iron particles, if you have brake dust on your wheels, this helps a lot. This is not meant uh, for use on paintwork, by the way. So this is strictly for rims. Uh, you can use them on um, your factory OEM wheel finishes. And you can also use this on chrome and steel rims and painted alloy wheels. Do not use indirect sunlight. And when you're spraying this, one thing you're gonna notice is that it is very viscous. So it clings onto the surface for a lot longer, allowing it to dwell for a few minutes. Follow the instructions on the label because I think here they uh, normally mention to use this for two to five minutes. There you go. So depending on the amount of dirt, allow two to five minutes for the magic wheel cleaner to take effect on the ring. And then of course, rinse thoroughly let me show you the instructions here if you guys want to check those out. So it is very, very effective and it's going to help again to remove all that caked on brake dust. This is not a um, wheel cleaner that I recommend for regular use if you wash your car uh, like me more than once or twice a week. So this is maybe every other week type thing or when you uh, get a bit of buildup of that brake dust. So this does a very good job at that and is very, very performing. And again here, if you look, although it's a pH 5.5, it's an acid free rim cleaner. We move on to one awesome product that they have in their lineup because I don't think there is uh, anything else in the industry that I've seen uh, that does the, the same thing as this. So this is MP. They also call this Motor Plast. Basically, this is an engine bay dressing. 
It has a natural sheen that it leaves, but it also has water displacing conserver technology inside there. So basically it prevents water uh, from clinging on to the parts and it can prevent corrosion. And so the treated parts, they regain their new appearance. You can spray this on wet or dry surfaces. So when you're done with your engine bay cleaning uh, and you're rinsed away, if it's still wet, perfect. You can just spray this on, close the um, the engine bay cover and then move on to the rest, right? And uh, of your vehicle, because you're gonna wash your vehicle after you're done uh, at cleaning the engine bay and it should dry off on itself. You take a microfiber towel and you just buff off uh, if there's any, um, uh, peaks or streaks that are left, but it levels out pretty easily. Uh, I've done a few, uh, quite a few <laughs> engine bay details uh, with mortar plast and it absolutely works amazing. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Meguiar's hyper dressing for those of you who use that. So if your engine bay um, is cleaned and it's still wet once you rinsed it, or even if it's dry, if you dried it off, you just spray this liberally inside uh, and on the surface, close the uh, the cover and um, that's it. You're you're, you're good to go and uh, you just leave it like that. If you, there's any high spots, just pass over with a, a microfiber towel, but uh, you're good to go. So again, it does a, a great job of um, basically restoring that OEM sheen and it gives that super clean, detailed look to the engine bay. So cleaning is one thing, but enhancing the appearance and there's also the uh, corrosion preventing kind of thing. Uh, it also prevents the materials inside there from getting dirty, uh, not dirty as quickly. So it has an elastopolymer, I think, think they said that clings on to the materials and kind of prevents things from happening. It gives a non-stick finish that prevents dirt from sticking as much basically. And if we look here in the back, once again, if you guys want to check the, the rear label. Yeah. So uh, motor plast is a great engine bay uh, dressing to use once you're uh, done cleaning your engine bays. Next, a high performance glass cleaner safe on uh, tinted glass. So if you have tinted film on the inside part, uh, it's ammonia free, so it won't damage your tinted windows. Uh, it's very strong, by the way, on grease, grime, fingerprints, all that kind of stuff. So they call it very simply GC for glass cleaner. And it works on mirrors as well. So cleans oils, grease, and insects too, by the way, if you have a lot of insects on your windshield when you're driving, this does a great job at that. Once again, just clean aesthetics. It is fantastic and uh, the instructions pretty easy. You spray on, use dedicated glass towels, by the way, when you're cleaning glass, that's another trick. So glass cleaners will allow your towels to glide, but another trick to get proper results is to use the appropriate glass cleaning towels. I made a very popular, by the way, glass cleaning tutorial recently on how you guys can get perfect glass. So I highly encourage that you go check that out, but that's GC, the glass cleaner. Next, we move on to an interior cleaner. So this is called Polestar, P-O, it has a pH neutral. So pH seven, let me give you a close-up of this here so you guys can watch. Basically, it's good for textile, vinyls, leather, and Alcantara. Uh, upholstery, carpets, all that kind of thing. Basically, the uh, interior surfaces, uh, the majority of them. So if you have uh, carpets, floor mats, uh, textile, fabric seats, uh, Alcantara, right? A lot of people ask me, how do you clean Alcantara? Uh, and your leather as well. This is a pH neutral, so a gentle cleaner, and it is fantastic. Uh, you can spray this on the surface. You can let it dwell a bit if you want more of that cleaning power. And then you're gonna come with either a microfiber towel or a soft brush, right? These kinds, right? These are from the Detail Factory. I absolutely love them. They're a synthetic and they have these very plush kind of like makeup brushes. They come in different sizes and colors. So that kind of stuff you're gonna agitate. It foams very, very nicely by the way. So that's one thing I appreciated. Uh, it uh, kind of makes lifting of the, of the uh, dirt and grease and grime a lot easier. And uh, once you're done, it is very important to go over the surface with a damp microfiber towel. So a second damp towel, just damp with a bit of water Water, so it's kind of going to neutralize the cleaners that are, cleaners that are inside there. And uh, I think they say on this one that there was a bit of protection, right? Yeah, it says cleans and protects without leaving watermarks and protects the parts against becoming dirty and uh, dirty again quickly. So I don't know about the cleaning part because I don't think they talk about UV protection, uh, but they must have some type of formulation that prevents the, um, the textile of the fabrics uh, to come dirtier over time. So it prevents that from happening. So it makes future maintenance cleans a lot easier too. Uh, so this just works fantastic on those uh, textile, Alcantara and that kind of stuff and leather as well if you want a good dedicated leather cleaner. That's one thing I like about uh, Koch Chemi or Koch Chemi products is that they're good for multiple, multiple uses. You wanna dilute this. Let me show you in the back. They talk about, yeah, the dilution ratios. 
So this is not an RTU or ready to use formula. Basically, you have to dilute this, right? So you're going to dilute it one in five for heavy duty use, one in 20 for light duty use. And that's pretty much it. If you want to bump up the cleaning power, by the way, like for uh, any interior APC, I highly recommend that you use a steam cleaner. There are some very inexpensive ones in my car detailing equipment uh, videos. I uh, share my own, by the way, which I can see from uh, here. Yeah, it's right there. It's the uh, McCulloch steam cleaner. I have the 1385 Deluxe, but they make less expensive versions as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, even on a budget, anything between 100 to 200 bucks, you can get yourself a good steam cleaner. And that's going to dramatically increase the performance of your interior cleaners or APCs that you're using. So dilute it appropriately and you can use it for multiple surfaces on the inside of your car. Next up, we have ASC or all-round surface cleaner. And as the name states, this is basically an all-round interior cleaner for the interior surfaces of your vehicle. It's ready to use, so you do not dilute this. It's good for finger marks, dust, grease, uh, it leaves no residue behind and a streak-free finish on smooth surfaces like plastics, your infotainment displays as well. Let me show you the, uh, the rear here with the uh, English label. So uh, yeah, again, uh, it's good for your interior plastics, infotainment displays, even stainless steel and even your leather if you want to quickly clean that, your leather surfaces. Uh, basically, yeah, any uh, surface that you have inside, you want a quick clean, quick interior detail uh, kind of spray. This is perfect for that. Uh, it has a nice, clean, fresh smell like a lot of their products. They nailed the smell. It's never overwhelming or overbearing. It smells clean and fresh. Uh, it's a, how would I characterize it? Like a scientific smell? Does that make any sense? Because I have a feeling there's the uh, chemists that work behind this brand are top-notch chemists, by the way. Uh, they came out with an amazing thing. So this one here is ready to use. That's why it comes with the, uh, the trigger sprayer. And the uh, Polestar is the one you're going to dilute. So a bit heavier use. So for super heavy duty, once again, you can have things like the Green Star, pH 12 and a half. If you have heavy dirt and grime, so you can dilute this. Use this inside and out. If you want... Uh, more specific cleaners that are a bit more gentle. So for a bit lighter duty cleanings, uh, for textiles, leathers, and Alcantara's, that kind of stuff, you have the Polestar. And for your regular uptake, uh, your regular maintenance cleans, and like a quick interior detail spray kind of thing, you have the all-around all surface cleaner, the ASC. Now, say you cleaned your floor mats and your carpets, uh, or you still notice some odors inside there, perhaps on your headliner, that kind of thing. Uh, there's cigarette odors. Um, if you have pets or animals and you have like heavy urine smell or who knows what, even if you have some kids, right? You never know what they do in the back there when you're not watching. Uh, so basically they have an odor eliminator. This is called Fresh Up. And it comes ready to use in this formula. You just put some a bit in a spray bottle, or you can even add a trigger sprayer if you want directly to this bottle here. So what would I characterize the smell? If you're smelling out of the bottle, it smells kind of like a fabric softener or a uh, detergent for your washing machine type of thing, clean linens, if, uh, if I'd want to say. So very pleasant odor, but this is, is not made to mask odors. This is made to attack odors at the source, so they encapsulate and help to remove those odors. So let me show you the uh, label here in the back. Once again, hopefully you guys can, can read this. So odor eliminator for cigarettes, if you have food spills or um, accidents, if you have pets, that kind of thing, it's gonna leave a fresh fragrance. You can use this on upholstery, roof liners, your floor mats as well. And so uh, yeah, just spray on, you leave it there, you let it dwell and uh, it is good to go. The uh, interior plastic trim, this gives you a semi-matte finish. So uh, a, just a bit of a sheen, but if you like that OEM factory look, this is for you. So basically this is, once again, TS. This is Top Star. Let me show you this up close. So it's an interior quick detail spray for light cleaning uh, of uh, your interior plastics, rubber consoles, interior trim, even your rubber seals, right? Dashboards, it gives you that semi-gloss finish, as we said. Uh, it has anti-static and UV properties as well. That is very important for a lot of people out there who are using quick interior, interior detail sprays. So it just, um, it does, of course, your light cleaning duties, so for your regular maintenance, but it's also gonna top off that protection, that protection and also give you anti-static properties, meaning dust is gonna cling a lot less often or less easily to your surfaces and that I did notice that is a big difference if you use that uh, on your interior parts so you're gonna have a lot le less dusting issues let me show you here the rear once again so you can see the uh, instructions here correctly 
So this is the top star. You basically spray on or you use a foam applicator or a microfiber applicator as you want. Uh, it also has a fresh fragrance. So that's one cool thing. And uh, when we're talking about the uh, rubber seals, right? If you're looking at the contours of your doors inside your vehicle, that's the kind of thing to keep them supple, uh, to keep them UV protected and that kind of thing. So um, this is a great kind of top off or quick detail spray for those parts. And it does a great job. Next, you're probably wondering where is the dressing for tires and exterior plastics? Uh, well, they have one, so that's why it's also helpful to have these kinds of videos because you not only learn the names, uh, but basically what they do as well. So this is PSS. They call this Plast Star Siliconolfre, or however, hopefully, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. So basically PSS or Plast Star, it's a silicone oil-free dressing, and it's made for your exterior plastic trim, your rubber, tires and your door seals too. It adds UV protection. It gives a semi-matte finish. You're basically going to use either a sponge, a foam applicator or a microfiber applicator, whatever you guys want. Uh, you pour this on there, you apply on the surface and immediately it's dry to the touch. It is not going to sling on your paintwork, right? We hate that tire dressing sling. Um, so it is very good. Durability, like the majority of the good dressings out there, this is not a tire coating right away, right? If you want something that lasts for many months, look for tire coating. Coatings, uh, something like CarPro Blackout, for example, that I tried on my channel and absolutely like as well. Uh, but this should last two to four weeks, at least in my testing, in my conditions. Uh, to get the, the maximum durability, like I always tell my viewers, you have to prep your tires properly. Degrease the tires first with either a tire cleaner, or once again, if you have the Green Star all-purpose cleaner diluted appropriately for use for exterior use, uh, and then your tires are prepped and they're ready to accept the dressing that you're going to put on there. It's not going to sling. So again, this is dry to the touch. You get that semi-glossy look. So it's not super matte. It's not uh, wet looking or oily looking. So if that's what you're looking for, this is not for you. Uh, it just gives that nice final detailed touch, um, a kind of sheen that I like. Uh, on a tire, so it uh, it depends what you guys like. It's silicone and oil-free. That's also another great thing. You can apply this on your exterior trims, right? Also, make sure you, you prep the trim properly. So if you're going to apply this on your trim, you can use an all-purpose cleaner. Once you're done cleaning your car, uh, spray an all-purpose cleaner on the trim. Use a light brush. Wipe with a microfiber towel. Or you can use an IPA, isopropyl alcohol mix, to remove any oils or residue that's on there. So basically you're prepping the surface before you're applying a dressing. It's going to last a lot longer. And next, last but not least, we move on to three of their polishing compounds. Uh, they also have some that contain protection, uh, but that's less my style. I prefer pure polishes, so just the abrasives, because I like to control what protection I add after that. So the uh, three that we have in their lineup, we're going to go in order of cut level. So we're going to start with their proper compound. This is called the H9 Heavy Cut. So let me give you a close-up of this. This is their coarse polishing compound. It's silicone oil-free, like all of their polishing compounds. This one here can remove scratches or sanding marks up to 1200 grit. So as the name states, it's a heavy cut. I like that they add this diagram in the front. So you see the cut level is at a 9 and you see the gloss level is at a 5. So they kind of give you a chart here of where you are in the steps. So this would be a coarse compound, meaning if you have some heavy or deep scratches and swirl marks or some heavy oxidation, you're gonna first start with a compound and then move on to one of their polishes. If however, you only have some very, very fine scratches or swirls, little to no oxidation, very minor defects, then you can skip the compound stage and go directly to the polishes. Now, very important. Uh, these, by the way, are all very low dusting. They're polishing compounds, which is fantastic. Uh, do not use indirect sunlight. That is one of the um, advisories that they make for this. And another thing that I noticed from the uh, Koch Chemie or Koch Chemie lineup of polishing compounds, they have long working times. So if you guys, especially if you're in a professional setting and you need to work the paintwork a lot longer, well, these, before they break down, you can go a long way. So they have long working times. So keep that in mind and they all work fantastically well. They remind me a lot of uh, what Sonax has to offer, which means top of the line kind of stuff, right? Uh, you guys know for the polishes, Sonax Perfect Finish is one of my absolute uh, go-tos. And you also have the Menzerna or Jeskar compounds that are very good. So this one reminds me of the uh, Jeskar and Menzerna quality level polishing compound. So 
if we move up one step, we go to the F6, which is their fine cut. So it's a fine polishing compound. Once again, silicone oil free, like all of them. And if you look at the chart here, so let me first show you the front. There we go. So this is fine cut. So fine polishing compound. And this one here corrects sanding marks up to 2,500 grit. It finishes down so well, by the way, that for those of you who look for one steps, right? What is a one step polish? Well, the name says it. You pick one product and this is good for paint enhancements. So if you have something like light swirls, light scratches, the person doesn't want to pay for a full two or three step paint correction with compounds, polishes and jeweling polishes, well, you can offer something like this, a quick one step. Uh, fine cut is, is very perfect for that. So if we're looking at the cut level here in the front, it's at a level six. And if we're looking at the gloss levels, we're at a level seven. So as you're refining your polishes, right? You start with the coarse one that has more cutting power, but less gloss. And then you're moving on to the, let's say more coarse polish. So this one here has a, a bit more cut compared to a final polish, but less cut compared to a compound, but you're getting more gloss out of it at a seven compared to a compound, right? Because you're always refining your steps as you're going forward in the uh, polishing stages. And then you finish up with micro cut. So this is the M3. Let me show you this up front. So this is their micro polishing compound or jeweling compound, your really, really last step of polishing. Again, silicone oil free, up to uh, 3000 grit sanding marks can be removed. Or if you have any streaks or any holograms left from your previous stages. So we all know typically when you have a uh, coarser polish or a uh, compound, what that leaves behind is holograms when you're done or some very, very light scratches still from the compound stage. So this is good to finish it off and just leave a perfectly jeweled finish with the maximum gloss. So the cut is not that much. We're looking at a level three. However, for the gloss, because this is the ultimate in finishing compounds, you're looking at a level nine. So to compare this to Sonax, well, you'd have the Sonax Perfect Finish. Uh, this one here for me has a bit more bite. So if you want a bit more bite compared to Sonax Perfect Finish, for those of you who are used to that, I would definitely use this one. So it has a bit more correction, uh, but they both finish out super well. They both have great working times, uh, little to no dusting with this, very easy removal as well. Uh, so just a great, great job. And this one too uh, is silicone oil free. So we'll know for a lot of people that's important, especially if you're in the ceramic coating world. The less junk you're adding on your paint before applying the ceramic coating, the better. And this is easier to remove the polishing oils with a quick IPA or paint prep when you're done. So I like to see that from, com uh, from companies. Uh, so by the way, if you're picking one, for me, I like in my services, I often do brand new cars. Now, brand new cars, even though they're delivered straight from the dealership, they're rarely brand new until they're properly detailed. For many, many reasons, I have, by the way, a video, a popular one at that, uh, explaining why it's important to detail a brand new car. Uh, in a nutshell, basically, they're transported from the factory by truck, by train, by boat. They're left at boating docks for long times. Uh, sometimes they're left in parking lots for months on end and they accumulate all sorts of industrial fallout. They can have brake dust. They're poorly prepped by car dealerships as well. So that can be an issue. And uh, so a great way to polish a paint, they usually lead a light polish because obviously you're not gonna have super deep scratches. If they do, you correct that with a compound. Uh, but usually all they need is a nice finishing polish. One of my favorite ones, Sonax Perfect Finish, if you've been watching my channel. Uh, but another one recently that I'm enjoying more and more is this for brand new cars. So the Micro Cut from Koch Chemie. So this is uh, very good for that. So if you're doing a lot of new cars, you wanna have this in your arsenal for sure. So what are my final thoughts on the uh, Koch Chemie or Koch Chemie brand of detailing products, also known as KCX. Uh, they started to be imported in the US about a year ago or just over a year ago now. So they're very popular and uh, rising in popularity in North America. And there's a great reason to that. It is because they offer a great lineup of products. By the way, there's a lot more products than this. Uh, again, I'll leave links to all of these products, by the way, in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, but overall, they get a solid, solid, two thumbs up from Pan the Organizer. Uh, you're probably gonna see some of these in my 2022 Car Detailing Products Awards video, so stay tuned for that, of course. That's where I pick my top three picks for each product category for the uh, detailing year, and uh, they've really impressed me. So not only do the bottles look amazing, I think they did a stellar job with marketing these, um, but they also, the performance is even more important. Every single one of these products, I basically have no complaints about. Uh, I don't have any negative things to say, really. I mean, these are all of the ones that I use 
If there's any ones that you'd like to see me, by the way, uh, specifically review individually to give a full demo, let me know which one in the comment section under the video. Uh, and if there's products in here that I haven't spoken about that you guys have been using and that I should definitely look into, I'm also curious always to know you guys' thoughts. So drop a comment, let me know which other product in the uh, KCX lineup should I be looking at. And uh, so yeah, I think it was a good overview or brand review of this brand. And now you know more about what each product does, how to use them. Hopefully you learn some tips and tricks along the way. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support, by the way. Also, uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. And while you're down there, hit the bell icon. That's the notifications icon. And that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video to YouTube. Of course, as usual, also share the love. So share my videos with friends, family, detailing enthusiasts, whoever uh, would benefit from this knowledge. The more we spread, uh, the more the channel grows. Uh, by the way, we're well over 700,000 subscribers now. So thanks to you guys for being there. One of the biggest car detailing channels on YouTube. And I have each and every one of you to thank for that. And uh, yeah, lots more cool videos to come. So stay tuned. Without uh, further ado, well, as I always finish my videos, don't forget to keep it tight, keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one.